Hello and welcome to Europe's travel tips. Today we're going to check out everything Serbia has to offer. Serbia is a beautiful country in the Balkans filled with cozy cities, fortified fortresses, and many nature parks. In short, there's plenty to do and experience. Please hit the like and subscribe button and join us when we explore the 10 most beautiful sites in Serbia. Let's go! Number 1. Belgrade Belgrade is the beautiful capital of Serbia. The city is located at the intersection of the Sava and Danube rivers. It is a pleasant city with picturesque streets and impressive buildings. One of the most popular sites is the old fortress called Megdan. It's a 2000 year old fortress that towers over the rivers. The fortress has been renovated and rebuilt many times but the impressive city walls can still be admired in their old state. In addition, you should definitely climb the Tower of Despo because there you have a beautiful view. At the old fortress, you'll also find the army museum and some gardens. Another must-see is the Skadarlia district. This special district reminds you a bit of, of the Montmartre in Paris and it is therefore the center of art and culture in Belgrade. The district is full of art galleries and cafes and you can enjoy a stroll through the colorful streets. In addition, you should definitely take a look at the Saint Sava church. It is one of the largest orthodox churches and it's very impressive inside. Number 2. Javolia Varos Javolia Varos is a beautiful nature reserve in the south of Serbia. This special place is also called the Devil City because there are impressive rock formations everywhere. The park consists of more than 200 hills and rocks that are grouped together. This creates a beautiful natural spectacle where you can enjoy walking. The nature park was even nominated for the 7 New Wonders of the World competition in 2007. Some rock formations are even 15 meters long and 6 meters wide. The formations were formed by strong erosion caused by volcanic activity and these rock formations can hardly be seen anywhere else. In addition to the rocks, you'll also find two natural springs with wonderfully clear and clean water. The area is not very big, so you can enjoy walking and discovering anything. Number 3. Novi Sad Novi Sad is the second largest city in Serbia. It is a beautiful and cozy city on the banks of the river Danube. The center is full of colored houses and you'll find many squares where you can enjoy a tasty snack and a drink. In addition, there are many beautiful sites. You should definitely take a look at the Petrovaradin Fort. The site where the fortress stands has been inhabited by various groups for many centuries. Surrounded by fortress walls, it played a major role in the Austro-Turkish Wars. You'll also find a huge tunnel system of four floors and a beautiful clock tower. You can visit the fortress and admire all of these special rooms. In addition, you can also learn a lot about the history of Serbia and you have a beautiful view of Novi Sad. Besides the Petrovaradin fort, you will also find wonderful beaches in Novi Sad, so you can enjoy a holiday full of culture and sun. Number 4. National Park Jerdap Jerdap National Park is the largest national park in Serbia. It is a green park with hundreds of animal and plant species where you can enjoy a walk. One of the most beautiful places in the park is a breakthrough valley, the Iron Gate. The place is magical and you can enjoy green forests, deep blue water, and vast landscapes. It is a long river gorge where in some places the cliffs reach a height of 100 meters and you should also definitely visit the castle of Golba. This ruin consists of beautiful stone turrets overgrown by green plants and beautifully contrasted against the blue water. The best way to admire the castle is from a boat on the water and the prehistoric site of Lepensky Vir is also very interesting. It is a site with excavations from the middle stone age. In addition to the sites you should of course take a lovely walk through the beautiful nature and along the river. Number 5. Nish Nish is a beautiful town in the south of Serbia. It lies on the banks of the river Nishava and you will find a pleasant historic center with many nice restaurants and cafes. One of the city's highlights is Nishka Turdjava Fortress. The current fortress was built by the Turks between 1719 and 1723 and was used to defend the city. The fortress consisted of 5 beautiful gates, two of which are still well preserved. You can admire the fortress inside and learn a lot about the history of Nish. You should also visit Midiana, an archaeological site of a villa of the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great. Here too you can learn a lot about the history of Serbia and you'll find the remains of the baths, reliefs, mosaic floors and pottery. Fan of sinister sites? Then you should definitely take a look at the skull tower Cheller Kula. It is a monument of the skulls of the deceased Serbian soldiers who blew themselves up to avoid falling into the hands of the Turks. Number 6. Fruška Gora National Park Fruška Gora National Park is located 15 kilometers from Novi Sad and consists of green hills and endless tranquility. You can also enjoy walking on various hiking trails. The highest mountain is Iskreveni Chot, which is about 539 meters high. 
From this mountain, you have a beautiful view over the surrounding rolling hills. In addition, the park is also rich in flora and fauna, and you can spot deer and storks there. In the park, you'll find one of the most important religious centers, with more than 15 different Serbian Orthodox monasteries. The monasteries have characteristics of the Byzantine and Baroque architectural style, and you'll find important libraries with beautiful frescoes. You can take long walks along the various monasteries and learn more about the Serbian Orthodox movement. Number 7. Studenica Monastery The Studenica Monastery is one of the most beautiful and largest Orthodox monasteries in Serbia. The monastery was founded in 1190 and has beautiful decorations. You will find 13th and 14th century Byzantine frescoes and there are two beautiful churches. The churches are full of special statues and paintings and you should definitely discover all the places of the monastery. The monastery is located at the end of a 12km road and is a great place to walk. The monastery is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site and there's plenty to learn about the medieval times in Serbia. In addition, you can spend the night there since a few years and it's the perfect chance to fully immerse yourself in the monastery existence. Number 8. Go on Adventure Serbia is an adventure paradise for thrill seekers and adrenaline junkies. The rugged mountains and swirling rivers form the perfect backdrop for some great outdoor activities. The first option is to go canyoning at the Trešnika Gorge. With canyoning, you combine climbing, swimming, abseiling, jumping, and sliding to make your way through the 6 km long canyon. Second option for some extreme activity is whitewater rafting. Drina, Ibar, and Lim rivers form a great place for this. Best time to do this is in spring when the snow melted rivers are at their fullest and most challenging. Third option for some adrenaline in this country is through biking. The Danube Cycle Trail is 1800 miles long and passes through 10 countries, 365 of these miles are in Serbia. So you'll need a lot of that pedal power to see it all. It's worth it though. The last adventurous option Serbia has to offer is mountaineering. Hike up Mount Tara. It's undeniably beautiful, has forests, canyons and ravines, bears, and according to legend, even a resident Slavic god Tar. The carpet meadow is a fun experience, it really does feel as though your feet are sinking into a plush pile carpet as you walk across it. If you fancy someone else doing the legwork for you, Tara's got that sorted too. Sign up for a donkey ride up the mountain instead. Number 9. Tara National Park Tara National Park is a beautiful park in western Serbia, near the border with Bosnia. The green landscape consists of high mountains, vast lakes, and dense forests. You can also enjoy hiking and discover the different landscapes. The two highest peaks are Mount Tara with 1544 meters and Mount Zvijezda with 1673 meters. From those peaks, you have a beautiful view of the green nature. Animal lovers are also in the right place here. You can spot black bears, camoys, wolves, and vultures. You should also definitely admire the Zauvin Lake. This beautiful lake is surrounded by green mountains and you can enjoy swimming or practice water sports. Number 10. Relax at Vrinjačka Banja Vrinjačka Banja is one of the most popular spas and largest spa in Serbia. The town is beautifully green and offers a lot of facilities. There are several mineral water sources, there's a pleasant climate, and you'll even find one of the largest electronic music festivals. The spa facilities are located in a large green park surrounded by charming and colorful houses. There are seven mineral springs that have different temperatures, four of those sources are known for medical treatments, and there are therefore many people who come to town from all over Europe to be treated for all kinds of ailments. It is a wonderful spa town where you can completely relax. So that was our top 10 list of places to visit in Serbia. Thank you so much for watching. If you think we missed anything then let us know in the comment section below and we'll put them in the next video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell, and we will see you next time on Europe's Travel Tips.